Hello everyone, Neil from Merchant Former here, and today in this video I want to go over an easy way to translate your listings into the new marketplaces. So that includes Germany, which is already a marketplace, but also France, Spain, and Italy, because we want to make sure that when we put up our products in these other markets, that people can buy them in their native language. So we've gone ahead and come out with a very simple tool using Google Sheets. Now, if you are coming from the blog, all you need to do is click the link in order to come over to this page that I have on the computer. Now, the way that this works is you're going to see some pre-filled information in here. It's going to say, you know, paste your English listing here. And what we're going to do is once we go through the process, all you have to do is enter the information in under the US flag, so that's English, and then it's going to automatically translate German, France, Italy, Spain, all of these other markets into their native languages using Google Translate. Now, Google Translate is not perfect, but it is a lot better than putting it in a language that they may not be that familiar with or, you know, a language that maybe they don't even know. So once you come over here, the first step in order to use this is actually make a copy of it. So you'll want to go to File, Make a Copy. It's going to say, hey, let's make a copy. You can name it whatever you want, and then click OK. Now once you've done that, now it is on your own Google Drive. You can make any changes that you want. Okay, so you can come in here and you'll notice, hey, I can now edit these different uh, rows or columns, if you will. Now, one thing to point out is that on these other marketplaces here, if you just click one of these columns, you'll notice that there is inside there is a formula that will show you, hey, for this particular um, row or column, this is how you're going to translate it. Now, do not touch any of those, okay? All you really want to do is take, go to the bottom here, the bottom of each one of these. Okay, and you'll see this little blue dot here. Now this little blue dot is going to allow you to take this formula and move it all the way down the sheet. Because if we click right here, you'll notice there's actually nothing in this box. Okay, so we want to include this formula right here in all of these boxes. So we'll just drag this down and then release and you'll see value. That's, that's okay. The only reason you're seeing that is because there's nothing over here in these columns, okay? So for example, if we come over here and we say, actually, let's go ahead and do that in all of these columns real quick. We'll just drag them down, okay? Drag them down and click and drag the blue box down. Now in order to use this, all you need to do is actually paste in your title right here. So if your title is um, the big brown dog, okay? All of a sudden you'll see loading come across and it has translated into German. It's translated into French, Spanish. Okay. So then you can come down and just, you know, this is my first bullet point. Bam. It's going to load in all the translations. This is my second bullet point. Okay. Now notice how you see value here because there wasn't anything in this English box. As soon as we click outside of that, it's going to load in the translations. Okay. You can come down here and for each one of these, you can type in, you know, a keyword, which will translate it across all of the marketplaces. But really ideally what you want to do is you want to translate your title, your bullet points and your description. Now, the reason this is so important, I've already touched on this, but at least at the very least, your title and your bullet points is because a lot of the times on these other marketplaces, customers are going to be shopping for keywords in their native tongue, okay? Now, I don't speak these other languages. I just know how to translate them or find someone who can. But for example, you know, the big brown dog, um, Hund, I believe, is dog in German. If you have a dog shirt, they're not going to be searching for, you know, funny dog shirts. They're going to be searching for that in German, which is going to include the keyword Hund, H-U-N-D. Same thing for, you know, these other marketplaces over here. They're going to be searching for keywords in their native language. So yes, Google Translate might not be the best, but I'm telling you guys, if you go through and use this tool, get your products up on Amazon using native language. You can always go back and fix any grammatical mistakes, but it's going to help you make more sales. So just to wrap it up, first thing you want to do when you come over here to this list is file 
make a copy, okay? That means that you'll be able to edit it yourself anytime you want on your own Google Drive. It'll open up a new tab. And the second thing you need to do is click on the very bottom row and drag the blue box all the way down as far as you want to go, right? Like maybe you're only translating a few, so you drag it down here. If you're translating a lot, drag it down a few hundred rows, but you need to do that for each column, okay? Because each column is going to have a different, um, a, a different code in here in order to translate it from Google Translate. So that's going to be all for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop them below. Like this video and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.